How's it going guys, Lead Cypher here. In this video we'll attempt lazy sysadmin from Volnub. It's a straightforward machine, it doesn't have any rabbit holes or anything like that. Now let's jump in and terminal and get start. As always we start with this cover to get the IP address of the machine. As you can see it's running on 192.168.111. Now we start our mmap scan, dash ss for tcp scan. Dash A for aggressive scan, dash O N for normal output to a file called a map scan. And we have some ports open here. We'll get back to that later. Let's just proceed with a derp scan. Dash R here for non recursive. It looks like this machine is running WordPress, and this robots the TXT file here doesn't have any valuable intel for us. So let's just skip it. Now from the map scan we know that this machine is running Samba server and if you know what Samba is essentially it's a service that's similar to FTP where you can print services and store data. Anyhow let's log into the Samba service with SMP client. So SMP client L to list all shares this service has and the IB address of the machine. This one looks interesting let's check it. Again type SMP client and two forward slashes, then the IP address, followed by forward slash, then the share name. And here we have some interesting files. And look at that, we have the whole WordPress folder that contains the wbconfig.php file. That means we can retrieve the credentials that with which we can access the WordPress dashboard and after that we can upload a reverse shell to get on the server. So let's do that. And also let's grab some of these files to look at what's inside of them. And it seems that this file contains a password for a certain user on the server. We'll find out about this user later. Now let's grab the credentials from the wbconfig.php file. And log in the WordPress dashboard. Username is admin and this is the password. Great, now let's grab a PHP reverse shell from Pintest Monkey and upload it on the server. Use star xf to extract the archive, then open the reverse shell with vim or nano and change the IB to your local IB address. Leave the port as it is or change it to any port number you desire. I will change it to an elite number. After you finish take control s to save then control x to exit if you're using nano. Now go to wordpress dashboard hover over plugins and click on add new. Then upload plugin and browse for the reverse shell script and finally install now now navigate to the wordpress uploads directory to get the full path to the reverse shell script and copy it now set a netcat listener on the port that you specified then open a new terminal window and set a post request to the reverse shell file with curl and there we go we have a shell Let's execute bin bash to get a proper shell. But as you can see this shell works fine but it's unstable. So instead let's look for another way to SSH to the sub. Let's look what's inside the etc passwords file. This looks interesting. Now let's SSH to the server with that user. And we're gonna use this password. And it's easy as that. Now let's check for special privileges. And this user can run absolutely anything with sudo. So let's get a shell as root. And that's it. I hope this machine was beneficial to you guys. I learned something new from it. Don't forget to like and share this video and also leave a comment down below. 
and subscribe for more future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.